Hello, and welcome to Smart Visio for TFS demonstration. You can use Smart Visio for TFS to convert your processes and other diagrams, such as a context diagram, a swim lane diagram, a BPMN model, a sequence diagram, or any other type of diagram into work items, auto detects use it scenarios, use cases and test cases. In order to work with Smart Visio, the first thing you want to do is install the Smart Visio for TFS plugin, which will give you this tab. On this tab, you can connect to your team project. You can connect to any type of team project that you might have defined, whether it is Scrum, CMMI, Agile, or perhaps a customized one. When you connect to a team project, you will see a panel appear on the right hand side. What we are going to do to begin with is to define a feature that is linked to the whole diagram, the whole page. And we are going to call this purchase processing workflow. When I hit enter, this window appears. Here I can define my acceptance criteria, assign it to the appropriate individuals, prioritize it, provide business value, start date, and other feature work item properties. So I go ahead and click save. A new feature work item has been created and it has been linked to the diagram as a whole. At this point, I'm going to go to register, define a product backlog item as a customer I can register so that I have an account. I may now go to the other activities in the diagram where I may want to define user stories or requirements. And you can do that individually across this, uh, this process model. Alternatively, you can click on bulk add, and this shows you this pop-up window. In this pop-up win window, you can, you can actually define your, your work items much more efficiently. As a customer, I can log in so that I have access to my data. And similarly to that, you can click through the various activities where user stories need to be defined. And when you're done with that, you can simply cl click on create. And a variety of different user stories have been created like this one or the user story related to close order. Now you can simply double click on this close order work item. This brings up the window and you can flesh out other details here as a accounts manager. I can close order so that billing can be updated. User stories can also be created against work items. In fact, any work item can be created against connectors or lines. And so I can go here and say support delayed shipment and there you are so now whenever i click on a certain activity in the diagram you will see the linked work item for it if i click on the link you will see the linked work item to that connector for a given work item you can also decompose it so i could define a task design auth integration. I can define impediments is not available. As yet. And you will see that these this task and this impediment 
has become the child of the product backlog item, the child of this user story. When I go to the page by clicking the background, you can see my work item decomposition has started to take place. I can also take a snapshot of my process flow and attach it to the description of my feature or I can link my document to the work item, the feature work item. So let's take a look at um, what this information looks like in TFS through Visual Studio. You will see that this hierarchy of work items that we have been defining in Visio is now available in um, in Visual uh, in TFS. Uh, and visible in every um, TFS client or Visual Studio client, such as Web Access, Test Manager, and so on. So here's the visual, um, and of course, all the other work items are here as well. Now you can imagine creating all of these work items directly in this interface or in Smart Word or uh, through Excel, but the fundamental difference here is that when you do it in Visio, the entire experience is far more intuitive and efficient. The next thing you might want to consider doing is to identify usage scenarios. How might someone use this process? And to do that, you can click on generate scenario and Smart Visio will detect all the scenarios, and there are three scenarios here. That's the happy path scenario. The second scenario, or rather the third scenario here, is the shopping aborted scenario. So I could call this shopping aborted. I can um, publish this as a work item, the scenario. By default, it selects product backlog item, but I can change the work item type if, type if I like. Here's the description that's automatically created based on the text in the diagram. You can also update this if you like, and you can go ahead and publish it. So let's go ahead and publish that. Similarly, we can publish all the other scenarios you also have your use case tab here you can click on the generate use case button there or the tab here a use case is fundamentally a collection of all the scenarios in a single artifact so if i go here and i call this uh, the happy path and that's your primary flow I'm gonna call this delayed shipment path and the last one we'll call shopping aborted and I'll mark this one as a, as an exception flow the process or the use case I'll call purchase processing use case and I'll click on this button which will generate the narrative of my use case and now I can go ahead and publish it and again by default it's going to choose PBI but if you've created a use case work item or you want to map it to a different work item like a feature you can do that and then you can go ahead and publish it And you'll see the use case narratives are there. The, the flow chart is here as well. Let's save this. To open up this use case work item again, just click on this hyperlink here and you will see this use case again. Under links, you will see all the work items that have been covered by that use case. So you get full coverage in your um, use case work item.
the next natural extension here is test cases. When I click on test cases, you will see that um, Smart Visio has identified four different test scenarios. Now, typically testers calculate the different test scenarios manually. Uh, if this was a more complex process, you might have eight or 10 or 15 test scenarios. It's automatically detected for you. So the first one would be my happy path test case. All goes well, this should happen. These are my steps, I can update the steps. And uh, I can update the steps while I see the flow right here. And when I'm done with it, I can simply publish it. And the work and the test case has been published. I can take the second path. And this is my delayed shipment test case. And my steps are here again. I can go and publish that as well. And then my third test case and my fourth test case. So you can record all the test cases. And uh, if you double click the test case name, it'll open up the work item detail window. And again, whichever work items are covered by that test case uh, will be linked to it. So in this case, all of these user stories are covered by that test case. So they, they have been linked to with the tests link type automatically. So you can see fundamentally what's happening is when we define a process model, the process model is full of great information. That information can now be leveraged to define your requirements, to define your user scenarios, your use cases and your test cases. The one other thing you can do here is you have the ability to, let's create a new page here. You can go to the work item visualization tab and create a mind map based on a query. So if I were to select a, a query such as all work item query, and I've just created a whole bunch of work items, you will see you have, um, a mind map with the feature work item is linked to all of these user stories and the user story in turn is linked to this task and impediment. But it provides more of a sort of visual map of the work items and how they're connected. One, one final thing, <clears throat> in this particular view, one of the things you can do is as the work item states change. So if I go to this work item, I change the state to approved, and I save that. I go to the work item for this, and the state of this, as people are working on it, will change. And when I go to this one, and the state of this has changed, perhaps to done, and the state of this activity based on the connector say has been removed. When the states change over time, you can go to the Smart Visio tab and click on Show State Overlay. The Show State Overlay will color code the shapes based on the state that they're in. And so you will see several things. Firstly, you will see that this is removed, it's been turned gray. This particular work item is committed. This work item is done. By color coding, it tells you what the state of certain work items are, and everything that is not color-coded um, implies that there is no linked work items to it, there are no linked requirements or features to it, and therefore, there might be a gap. So it opens up the question, perhaps there is no gap, or there is a gap, and this helps you find it. Okay. There is also an advanced model for um, 
doing stick data overlay so that you can actually put little graphics and icons on the flowchart to show what the what the current status of uh, the project is vis-a-vis -vis the process view. So with that, uh, if you want to know more about and or practice the functions of uh, Smart Visio, uh, please visit uh, our website and go to the Get Started section. Uh, there are step-by-step -step guides there, uh, along with uh, short videos that show how to do uh, the various function points I've shown. Thank you.